Hi Cancer, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is a general reading for May 2024. I've already pulled the first layer of your uh, reading, which are the oracle cards. I'm pulling the second layer now. Spirit may please have the present position for Cancer for May 2024. May please have the present position. Spirit may please have the strength for Cancer. May I please have the challenge for Cancer? May I please have the what's good on the outcome for Cancer? Thank you. Spirit, may I please have the hold on, Cancer. May I please have the first layer of the tarot to go into detailed information for Cancer for May 2024. Please have the present position for May 2024. May it please have the strength. Please have the challenge. May I please have the uh, what's good in the outcome? What's good in the outcome for cancer? For May 2024, what are the good things that they don't see coming? What do they need to know, understand? What will motivate them, inspire them, and give them the information they need to make the difficult decisions in their life spirit may have what's good in the outcome? Well, that's a lot of cards. Okay, too many. There's about 10 cards there. Got to do it again. Spirit may please have what's good in the outcome. Just one card or two. There we go. May I please have detailed information for May 2024, go even deeper for me, Spirit, and tell me what Cancer needs to know. May I have the present position that will validate this reading for them. May I have the challenge? May I have what's good in the outcome? What do they need to know? What will inspire, motivate them, help them to make the decisions they need to make? What's good in the outcome? that they don't see coming in square. Thank you. Let's take a look at this cancer. So for those of you that don't know me, um, we're gonna first go over the present position to validate that this is your reading. 
If this present position doesn't make sense to you, you're either watching the reading too early, you need to put it in a playlist and come back to it in about two or three weeks. If at that point it still doesn't make sense to you, then this is not your reading. Um, the other thing is I'm looking at the present position, I'm looking at the strength, I'm looking at the challenge, and I'm looking at what's good in the outcome. This is a reading for entertainment purposes only. Spirit, may I please have the present position for cancer what will validate this reading for cancer we have healing we have peaks of joy we have the page of wands we have the five of wands and we have the um the death card spirit bring it forward what's going on for cancer what will validate this reading for them take a look why is the healing card here candle flame burn this hour bring to me your healing power looks like you're really focused on um trying to elevate yourself um perhaps physically and uh monetarily is what i see i know it's a weird thing to say for a healing card but it seems as if you're putting all your energy into something right now that will um, allow you uh, to have flexibility and freedom here, what we have in the peak of joy, spirit, bring it forward. Why is the peak of joy here in the present position for cancer? What will va validate this reading for them? Okay, so what it looks like you're doing is you are really going, you're really leaping forward with something to um, catch it to, to, you're very focused on something and you're extremely aware that it is a leap of faith, but it looks like you're willing and ready to take it. It also looks like it's creating a lot of future change that is extremely positive. So you're very, very focused on something. However, what it looks like is that you haven't grounded yourself in whatever aspect that is yet. So, so it's kind of perhaps still in the early stages or developmental stages. Here in the page of wands, again, uh, this kind of new beginning, but it does involve communication of some type. It looks like you're very enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, but a little bit impatient about what is developing. There is going to be news of exciting opportunities. Um, this also could be you uh, really reaching out and doing your part to basically manifest what it is that you want. So you're allowing your creativity to soar. You're doing things that fuel your passion and you're finishing something that you started. For some of you, you're finishing a couple of things that you started a very long time ago. And so you're, um, you feel very confident in that energy. Here in the five of wands, what we have is conflict. You know, you've, you know, there is on the outward, it looks like people believe in you, um, here in the page of wands in whatever new aspect or new journey that you're going on. However, for you, there's some internal conflict about it and there is some worry about it. There are some people that perhaps have opposing opinions or negative opinions and you have to walk away from that drama um, unless the situation is really worth your time. You have to stand up for yourself. Um, and these people may be... people it feels like you're looking at people that inspire you and and are where you want to be in life so but there's still some conflict about that because it, it's it's not been manifested yet 
here in the um, death card, we have you changing your mind about how you're moving forward with things. We have you um, really putting a line under recent endings, really powering forward with new beginnings. Um, there is a very spiritual aspect to this. So it's kind of like you've come out of very physical time of your life and you're transitioning into like consciously into a new cycle that is led by your soul is what it looks like so that's your present position if it doesn't make sense like i said put it in a playlist come back two weeks from now take a look at it then if it still doesn't make sense just stop the video um now, for those of you that it does make sense to, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, uh, the next position. So what I have here is the challenge. Now, for those of you uh, that are unaware, um, we have um, strengths and challenges going on every single day in our life, right? So a challenge can be getting stuck in a traffic jam to as severe as, I don't know, somebody passes away, right? So um, the challenge is always there and then the strength is there to show you what to do or how to handle it and um, what you can expect. It's nothing, the challenge is nothing that you have to avoid, it just is. And same thing with the strength, it's nothing that you have to do, but once you know about the strength, you can actually be more conscious and aware of it and implement it um, in, a, in a better fashion if you understand what's happening. So here in the challenge, we have beauty, we have into the unknown, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So Spirit, bring it forward. What's happening in the challenge with Cancer? Beauty, I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. So you're having trouble with kind of um, this, like meeting your what you know what you know that you're born to do and just putting yourself out there it's a very powerful energy and um there's kind of like no guidance for it so it feels a little bit intimidating and it feels like you know as you move forward in it you don't know what you're doing but but um and here we have into the unknown right so you're moving forward with something that is like very very brand new and you don't really have any experience in it or your experience is limited in a major aspect of what's going on here we have the page of swords in the reverse and what we have is you um uh normally the way that you would go forward with something is through logic and insight but this is really so brand new that you have you're gonna you're having to trust um in something that you don't have any grounding in here's that grounding coming up again right so you know um if your background is in civil engineering and now you're making a left turn and going to nursing school you don't have any background in nursing school right and what you've been in is very very different than what you're doing and so um, that's what I mean, that you're not grounded yet in it. And here we have the five of pentacles in the reverse. So this is coming out of, you know, like a necessity that occurred in your life where there was a situation. You may be dealing with a situation where money is um, like money got taken away from you or money got restricted in some way fashion and you're having now to just rely on yourself to move forward in a way that is going to produce money for you here in the ten of cups in the reverse um what we have is um the challenge is is okay i'm just gonna let's see shattered dreams broken family domestic disharmony disconnecting misalignment of values struggling relationships so this feels like the past 
this feels and for some of you it could be the recent future recent future recent past where um you were going in one direction and your dreams were shattered um something was taken away from you and um it really made you disconnect in quite a powerful way and just have to really um do a 180 in which direction you you turned so i feel like some of you are walking away from these relationships that you thought were very strong and um and you're just kind of letting that go but it's still on your mind is what it shows here in the challenge here in the strength we have romance we have magical so we have romance here we have magical shapeshifter we have the queen of pentacles in the reverse and we have the two of pentacles in the upright we have the page of swords in the upright we have the six of swords in the upright and we have the seven of wands in the upright spirit tell me about the strength what's going on here for cancer what do they need to know what will empower them what will show them the way what do they need to understand um in going forward romance is a sacred power let it come to me this hour so for some of you this is um reliance on a relationship uh so there's a there's somebody around you that is extremely um there's a lot of love there and it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship but in many cases i feel that it is there is a romantic relationship around you and um it doesn't feel like a um the way i'm picking it up it doesn't it's not in the context of you're about to meet somebody this feels like somebody that's already in your life that is wanting the best for you and thinks that you're amazing. So that's coming out. They're offering you, um, they're offering you many levels of support is what is shown here. And that empowers you, right? So that empowers you with that kind of support what we have here is a magical shapeshifter so you can manifest um uh, different types of opportunities um over the next it feels like the next year um cancer so you can manifest um things that will give you leverage that will give you uh strength that will it, it feels very business oriented to me it feels like a like powerfully going forward and believing in yourself here in the queen of pentacles in reverse and the um two of pentacles in the upright what we have is this is about money this is about having to do something that will create um practical uh ways of getting money yourself um it's wanting to take care of others perhaps family members but but um normally where you would kind of put one foot in front of the other and be very practical this is much more of a gamble now let me state this this is not validation that you should take a gamble in finances. This is just a tarot reading. Always do your research. Always, um, you know, get somebody that's experienced and is a master of what they do in the field that you're looking at to help you make decisions and um, lead you in the right direction. So it does look like this is all about money and the decisions that you're making is about money. It does feel like um, sometimes it's an emotional decision and sometimes it's just kind of like r Russian roulette in a way. But again, be sensible, be cautious and understand your options and do not let go of your money. Don't gamble. Don't gamble your money is what it's showing here. Here in the strength, we have the page of swords, we have the six of swords, and we have the seven of 
wands and so what we have is again this brand new beginning new ideas curiosity thirst for knowledge new ways of communicating and there's a lot of restless mental energy you're transitioning away from something uh, you're leaving something behind releasing baggage and you're moving on and here we have um you're challenging the competition you're protecting um, what is yours and you're preserving what is yours. So you're very defensive in the way that you're dealing with things and you're maintaining control of um, what is yours. So nothing further is let go of. So I don't know, let's say you had $100,000 in the bank. Um, you're protecting that $100,000 in a way. So let's say you're investing it, you're investing it in a way that no matter what, the $100,000 is not lost. So, um, which is very wise. Here we have in the outcome, safe travel. We have rescue. We have release in reverse. We have the nine of swords in the upright. And we have the seven of cups in the upright. Spirit, bring it forward. Tell me what's good in the outcome for cancer. What does cancer need to know? What will help them and encourage them to make the decisions they need to make and lead them on the right path? A safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. It looks like you're looking to do, cast your net wide, but do something um like it feels like you're looking to do something really remote like remote working or something like that so what it feels like is like you could be getting involved with a company that will allow you to work remotely um and that you know but the but the company may be very far from you logistically and um it, so it does feel like something remote is coming up for you it's coming in the nick of time here we have rescue so it allows some um flow of energy and money to stimulate the situation that you're in it also allows you to gain a higher perspective of of what it is you want to do and it does feel like you want this whatever this is to not be long term like you want it to be short term but it gives you enough of a flow of, and this reading clearly is a money reading. I mean, I'm at the end now, but it's all I'm talking about is kind of money, career, business, and finances. Um, so apologies for those that wanted anything about love, but it shows that um, you have this long-term vision and you're able to produce things that are quite unique and um, that everybody um, resonates with. And it's, it's, um very very beautiful i love i feel like a lot of energy with this like it will bring you a lot of independence it will allow you to go where you want to go but still be um grounded on the path that you're on so here is where we get the grounding with whatever this is and it does feel like a job so what we have is release in the um, reverse and the nine of uh, swords in the upright. And so what we have here is you're worrying about the future. You're worrying about people are worrying about you. It shows here too. People are worrying about you. There's some sleepless nights going on and um but it feels like it's not touching you it feels like you're um you you feel kind of okay with the way everything is going but there are some people here that are worried about you here in the seven of cups your final card what we have here is choices options so as this this new situation comes in it does feel like it starts to open up a multitude of options for you. And so where something was very, very slow going in the beginning, it starts to really get the creative juices flowing. And it also starts to give you, um, like it feels like a snowball effect where once you build the foundation of something, it starts to generate a lot of different ideas and a lot of things that you're <clears throat> passionate about. And so what we have are opportunities, choices, 
searching for the right thing and daydreaming about um, ideas and inspiration that it does feel like will, that will utilize um, money and it will, meaning it will bring in money and it will bring, and, and it looks like what you're doing is creating things that people love. And so that seems very, very clear in the outcome. So Cancer, that is your reading. I hope it helped. Please hit like, subscribe, hit the bell button. And please, um, if you want to see a future reading, uh, I've been offline for a while and the YouTube logarithm does not pick up the uh, my station anymore. So not even when I type it in, it doesn't come up. So if you can just put in the, if you resonated with the reading, if you can just even put your horoscope um, in the uh, comments, it will help you to get the reading, the next reading when it is published. You take care, Cancer, and all the best.